Today I have for you two unboxings. The little white box is from Chanel. This box is from Nordstrom. And this one is a handbag. So if you'd like to see what's in these boxes, that if you know me, you wouldn't think I would buy. So if you're interested to see what's in these boxes and what I'm talking about, stay tuned. <music> Hi YouTube, Autumn Beckman here. Welcome to my channel, or welcome back to my channel. My channel is all about luxury living on a budget, from high-end luxury handbags and small goods to the everyday luxuries of life. If that sounds interesting to you, please make sure you subscribe, click the bell notification icon to be notified when I post new videos, and be sure to like the videos that you enjoy. And one of the perks of subscribing to my channel is you get to see my community posts on your YouTube homepage, where I post deals, discount codes, sales, and rare finds related to these beautiful things we love. And this video is a collaboration with Winnie B. L. V. and Yota Style, who of course I collaborate with all the time because they beg me, kidding, and one of our new YouTube friends, The Handbag Housewife. She has a beautiful collection. She's really into the bags that I'm showing you in this video. She has several of them. I have found her videos to be very informative. I have been learning from her about these bags, and she has a beautiful collection beyond that as well. So I hope after you've watched my video today, you'll go check out all of theirs. And this handbag is one of those things that that I would have posted except I got the last one. They kept coming back in stock and I didn't buy one at first and then it came back and I got it. Now before we get started I want to talk to you about that just a little bit and address a couple of things and sort of give you a heads up on what's going on. Well here's the deal. I'm filming this video at about 5 30 in the morning in late January. I've been filming a lot of videos this month, pre-filming a lot of videos that I'm planning to put up in February and I don't know dates yet on when things are going up so I don't know when this video is going up exactly. But I've been doing that because my February this year is going to be very, very busy and I already know that I won't have the time on the weekends that I usually have to be able to batch film for that week. Also, this January there have been so many fantastic sales. I've purchased several things and the things that I've purchased, like, like this bag, are not things that I could see in person first and they're things that are in limited inventory or a sale that I I just couldn't get them in person or see them in person. The only way to see the bag was to buy it and then find out if I like it. And a lot of these bags that I've purchased are things that I'm not 100% sure on when I buy it and that there's a chance I'll send it back. So this is why I wanted to address this is because several of these unboxings I've been saying, well, I'm going to unbox this and I don't know if I'm going to keep it. And it may come across like I'm buying things just for the channel and that's not the case. I just wanted to explain that to you. If you watch my video on how I afford luxury, I discussed that a little bit. I never buy anything just for the channel, but when I do buy something, even if I return it, I share it with you for the most part. There are some YouTubers that if they return something, they don't share that with you. I think it's helpful for you guys to see something that we don't like and why we don't like it, and that may save you a purchase. So I think that explained everything I wanted to tell you. Let's get to these unboxings, shall we? First, let's do the Chanel. This is from a new collection. I got an email from Chanel about this. I usually take time to think about things, but this was a small item. Okay, apparently I didn't need to cut the tape because there's a full tab thingy. Anyway, this was a brand new Chanel uh, item, a brand new collection that they just released. I got an email about the release. I saw it. I immediately purchased it and I didn't think about it at all open it up. All right, I'm getting another one of these little bags. My item is in that box, and then here's a bag, little Chanel pouch. They always send you, if you don't know this, two free samples. You get to choose from whatever they have available at the time. Things change all the time. And they also sent another free sample. This is the Chanel number no. one, or number one day Chanel, it says, Serum Revitalicent, Revitalicent au Camellia Rouge. So this is part of their new red line, which is all about revitalizing, whatever that is. I don't use that stuff. I'll pass it along to someone else. Here's a little card about it. Red Camellia Revitalizing Serum. There you go. Part of the Red Camellia line. So the two samples that I ordered are this Chance Au Vive perfume. I have the green Chance fragrance and I really like it. So I thought I'd give this Chance fragrance a try. And this is a sample of Coco Mademoiselle, a classic. 
Now the item that I purchased is in here. This is the Rouge Coco Balm. It says it's a hydrating, beautifying tinted lip balm. And the color I got is 924 Fall For Me. And there were a couple things I liked about this that made me purchase it right away. One of them is that the container is white instead of the usual black. And it's white with gold accents, which I thought was really pretty. The other is that this isn't a lipstick, it's a tinted lip balm. And they said that you could layer it to make it darker. I'm not somebody who wears lipstick, but I would like a little hint of color, so I thought this would be perfect, and I got actually the darkest color they have, because when I did my Halloween video where I was Cassie Thorpe, or attempted to be because no one could ever be her, she is far too cool for all of us. I had a dark lipstick because that's what she wears, and I liked it, but I liked it on me uh, just lightly, not too dark. So I thought being able to do a layer of this might work well. So I'm gonna try something here. Here I am without any lip balm on natural, and here I am with it on. I rather like it. It's not terribly noticeable. It's not in your face, but it does give a little bit more color. I think that looks nice. What do you think? Be honest with me, because I'm not a makeup person. If it looks hideous, please let me know. But like, try to be nice about it. All right, let's see what handbag I got in here. I know for certain that I'll love the style of the bag, because because I already have three of them. It's a bag I discovered just a couple months ago. And these bags, I'm telling you, I think they may be the best bags ever designed on the planet in the history of the universe. Here we go. Oh, they've given me some brown paper. Oh, hello. Okay, oh, and I was gonna say, the colors in this bag is something that I wouldn't normally purchase. And then there's a pattern on here that I'm not sure about, and I just saw it and I'm feeling, yeah, I'm not sure. Okay, let's look. The big reveal, are you ready? It is the Longchamp Le Pliage in the extra small size, and this print is called Bouquet, and it's floral, I think you can tell. It appears to be a photograph that has been screen printed onto the canvas that this bag is made from. It has silver hardware, it has pink trim. The pink trim is what interested me. Pink is not a color I wear, but of all the pinks, I do like light pink. I just don't wear it because like if I wear a pink top, it just washes me out. It's too close to my skin tone. So I have three other bags like this, the extra small long chumps, and they're amazing. So I want to get as many as I can because you know, the ones that I have are, well, two of the three are special bags. One is a just a plain taupe nylon. I love that one too. And I want to get all of them. And I prefer the nylon ones to the leather ones. I actually picked this up at Nordstrom Rack. I don't remember ever seeing it at Nordstrom or Bloomingdale's or Saks or anywhere else. In fact, the first place I saw it was the handbag housewife in one of her videos on these bags. There's the tag on it. Let me read to you some of what that says. The dimensions on the bag are 6.75 by 5.5 by 4. This thing is like a speedy, it's a similar shape, but then it's also like a speedy in that it just fits everything. It's small, but it packs a punch. Retail was $195. I'm surprised it wasn't more considering it's a special bag. I got it half price at $99.97. I have to say, I am not impressed with the printing on this bag. I don't like it when photographs are printed onto canvas. Speaking as a photographer, it's not very good print quality. So right away I'm thinking I'll probably send this back. That's unfortunate because it's a special bag and I would offer it up to you guys except, again I'm filming this in late January and you're probably seeing it weeks later. So yeah, I think I'm going to send this back. I don't think I like the way this looks. I will say a couple things. I'll show you a few things about the bag before we cut it off. This is not nylon. It's an untreated canvas. It feels like maybe a cotton or something. It probably says somewhere inside. So that would definitely have the potential to get stained and dirty. The trim is leather. The zipper pull looks like this. It has the traditional little longchamp circle with the horse and jockey and then it has this leather zipper pull. It comes with a pink leather crossbody strap. The interior of the bag looks like this. That's just the other side of the canvas canvas and it is not lined or coated. There's a large pocket on the back of the bag and a smaller pocket on the front of the inside of the bag. Both pockets are on the inside. There's no pocket on the outside. This bag says it was made in France. It does not say what the materials are. It comes with a little tags. I will be doing a more thorough video on these bags at some point, hopefully soon. Handbag Housewife already has a fantastic video on these bags. I will make sure to link that video below. Yeah, unfortunately, this 
this one's gonna go back. I do like the colors in it a lot, but I don't like the screen printing. I just don't think it looks nice. I should do a mod shot for you, I guess, while I have the bag so you can see a little bit about it. The strap is adjustable. I don't like the straps on these bags. That's the one thing that they could improve on because these leather straps, they're, they're really sharp on the edges and they're just kind of uncomfortable. And I'll also say one thing I noticed is that the strap is detachable. And on this bag, the strap attaches to grommets here on the ears. That's what Longchamp calls them. On some of the other bags like this, there are little D-rings inside the handles and the strap would attach there. The nylon bags have the strap attached to the ears like this one does. Here's how this looks crossbody. They're great bags. I mean, I just don't like the pattern on this one, but I love these bags overall. Highly recommend them. And I have been posting them in community posts as some have become available. So make sure you're subscribed so you can see those. Okay, now that I'm looking in the mirror with this bag and you don't see the pattern so close up, you see it a little farther away, it's actually really cute. So now I'm confused. I'm rethinking sending it back. It looks good with this white top. I wore this on purpose because I thought it would work with this bag well. And it has greens in it. So that would go with my green tops too. Oh dear. we may have a problem. I really like it. Oh no. <laughs> my my how things change. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to go check out Winnie B LV and Yota Style and the Handbag Housewife. Their videos will all be linked below and they are all showing you and talking about more of these little Longchamp extra small bags which again are the best bags in the entire history of everything and I never exaggerate. I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye.